What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, the network. Today's topic is section 4.1, configure and verify GRE. This is a topic in the CCNP route exam. It's going to be known as the CCNP Enterprise Exam come February 24th, 2020. This topic most likely will transition into the new CCNP Enterprise Exam. I haven't looked at their uh, their topics yet, but most likely GRE tunnels will exist then. Anyway, let's take a look at the exam blueprint, see where we came from and where we are headed. Hashtag lab every day. This exam blueprint implementing Cisco IP routing, exam code 300-101. I believe it's going to be called 400. No, 300 dash. I don't even know what the new code is. Who cares? Don't matter. Just know it's going to be called CCMP Enterprise Exam. We uh, wrapped up the section 3.32, explain BGP attributes and best path selection. Today we are going to be covering, now we're going to be covering VPN technologies. Today we're going to cover VP, can configure and verify GRE. After that, we'll describe DMVPN and describe EVN. Uh, so what is uh, GRE? GRE stands for Generic Encapsulation Routing. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Or ge Generic Routing Encapsulation. This is a... Uh, VPN technology, as you can tell, it is the difference is that it's not encaps, it's not uh, it's not encrypted. So it's a way of creating a VPN tunnel, but there is no. This is the uh, this is the trans. It's a type of transport protocol. Let's take a look at the exam blueprint, uh, or not the exam blueprint, but the uh, yeah, yeah. Pardon me, I drank a little bit of wine, but anyways, take a look at the. Um, the slides for the official definition. Okay, so here is the uh, official definition. GRE is a generic routing encapsulation. It's a tunneling protocol developed by Cisco Systems that can encapsulate encapsulate a wide variety of network layer protocols inside virtual point-to-point -point links or point-to-multipoint links over an internet protocol network. So as you can see right here, we got router one on the left-hand side, router two on the right-hand side. The physical interface has this 209.165 address, and that one has a 198.133 address. However, as you can see, we created a tunnel through the internet, and the uh, one IP address is 10 triple one, the other one's 10.112, right? Private IP addresses. How are they using private IP addresses on the internet? Well, they've done that using the tunnel. They just are, uh, they're physically connected using these serial cables. However, we created a GRE tunnel so that way uh, nobody can listen in on our traffic. However, it is not encrypted again. It is GRE is not encrypted. That's why I need to I've said that multiple times in this video so far, but I need to reiterate this. Now let's take a look at some of these fun facts about GRE. It's a tunneling protocol that supports many different layer three protocols. It is the default encapsulation for iOS tunnels. So that's great. It's easy to set up. I'll show you all on Boston NetSim after we fire it up, show you the configuration and everything. GRE adds a 20 byte IP header and a four byte GRE header to encapsulate the existing packet. Notice it says encapsulate, not encrypt. It does not encrypt, it encapsulates, right? So we got basically 24 bytes of header that we tacked on to the IP, uh, the IP uh, packet. However, remember in the MSS video, I did this like maybe a couple months back, we can uh, modify the MSS size. That'll give us room to add more uh, header information, such as GRE or other VPN technologies. Uh, the GRE header includes a protocol type field for the layer three protocol. GRE does not encrypt packets. I don't know how many times I'm going to keep saying this till I drill this in y'all head. It is not encrypted. However, it can be used along with IPsec, which is encrypted. The GRE configuration is fairly simple. I don't even know why I added this last bullet point, but uh, I'll show y'all how to set it up using, again, Boston NetSim. Here's an example right here. You do interface tunnel. You give it a number, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. You do the IP address. This is why I usually get confused with. You put the IP address of the, um, like say the private IP address here, right? The source and destination will be, if I remember correctly, the, you use the physical interface. The physical interface is IP address for source and destination. And then on the, uh, this IP address right here, that will be the private. So this will be the private information. 
right? And this will be the physical IP address right here, tunnel source and destination. So physical, virtual, all right? And then you do tunnel mode and then GRE or IPv6, whatever, your flavor. I believe that's supposed to say IP sec, isn't it? I don't know. We'll do a we'll question mark to see what, what tunnel modes we can do. Let's go ahead and uh, actually here's some VR uh, verification commands that we could do. We'll run these when we launch Boston Netsim as well. So that way we can see, uh, uh, we can verify our work basically. So we're going to go ahead and fire up Boston Netsim and take a look at GRE tunnels. All right, here go to labs, standalone tunnels, GRE tunnels. Uh, we've got, here's the topology right here. We got PC1 that's going to travel across the internet to go to PC3. However, we're going to create a GRE tunnel between routers 1 and router 3. So we're not necessarily bypassing. We're using router 2 as the physical connection, but we're going to create a virtual connection between our run and router 3. That's where the, virtu the uh, GRE tunnel will be, as you can see right here at this topology. Here's some basic IP address, I mean, some uh, basic uh, commands here for the tunneling information, some show commands as well. Here's the IP addressing guide. Task one says we need to create a verified GRE tunnel from PC1, so PC1. Attempt to ping PC3, which is over here. The IP address 10.10.30.100. Remember, this is gonna be the triple 10.0 network and this is gonna be the 10.10.30 network. Does the ping succeed? Why or why not? Most likely it won't succeed, but let's see. Ping 10.10.30.100. And as you can see, that ping failed. Why not? Because uh, we haven't created the tunnel. We don't have no routing information, nothing. On router one, we'll go to router one, create the tunnel interface with the um, interface number of zero. So we're going to say, we're going to go to global, conf I mean, uh, we're going to go to private privileges exec mode. Let's take a look at our interfaces first. So IP interface brief. And as you can see here, we got some serial interfaces. We got a fast ethernet and a loopback, right? Now, we go to global config mode and we say interface tunnel zero and you can see we got a tunnel that changed uh changed the state to down right if we do a show ip interface brief again and you can see now we have tunnel 10 i mean tunnel zero an unassigned ip address and but it's up down right what do you notice about the state of router one's tunnel interface as we said it's up down on router three go to router three on router three create the tunnel interface of interface Number zero. So we go to router three, enable global config mode, interface tunnel zero. That went up down as well. On router one, assign the IP address of 192.168.0.1. So that's what we said, right? Well, with this right here, the IP address will be like the kind of like the virtual IP. So virtual IP address, this will be the physical IP address, right? And I'll explain that again when we go back to the IP addressing. So now we're doing this part right here, but we're, we're just creating kind of like a virtual IP address, uh, like an arbitrary IP address. Most of the time it's a private IP address. So IP address, in this case, they wanted us to do 192.168.0.1 slash 20 slash 30. On router three, assign the tunnel zero interface of uh, 182.168.0.2. So we're going to router three. Ah, that's supposed to be 0 0.2. My bad. So this is supposed to be 0 0.2. That guy is 0 0.1. IP address 1 one display the IP addressing and status status information about every interface on the router what do you see about what do you notice about the new tunnel interface we did that already didn't we do show IP interface brief and as you can see it's up down okay so on router one attempt to ping router three's tunnel zero interface 192.168.0.2 do ping 192.168.0.2 does the ping succeed? Why or why not? It does not succeed, zero out of five. It does not because we do not have a route there still to that network, right? Do Let's do show IP route. No, that's not why. Well, that's part of the reason why, but that's not the reason why. Um, we haven't declared a source and destination yet. 
So it does not really know how to get there and where to come from, really. Configure the tunnel zero interface with a source IP address of the interface that is directly connected to the router two. What's the directly connected router two? We'll see. So router one, this is the interface we're talking about. That's the one that's connected to router two. What interface is that? Look at the topology right here. You see it's zero, zero, zero. What's that IP address? Router one says zero, zero is 198.51.100.1. So the source and destination are the physical IP addresses. I always mix those up. So source and destination are the physical. Source and destination are the physical. So we're going to say do show. So we, we, we have it beside us. Show IP interface brief. And then we're going to say source or tunnel source is 198.51.100.1. And on router one, configure the destination of the interface on router three that's connected to router two. So that interface right there. Without going to, without going to check, I'll, I'll tell you right now, that's 000. We just need to know what IP address that 000 is, right? So we go to that router, show IP interface brief. You'll see 000, that's the IP address. So that's going to be our destination from here to here. Right? So from here to here, that's the destination IP address. So let's go here. And it was the same thing tunnel destination but is a dot six a 198.51.100.6 and now as you noticed the tunnel state went to up so now if we do a show ip interface brief and you can see that tunnel interface is now up up right based on tunnel zero source and destination on router one what ip addresses should router three's tunnel zero interface use as source destination addresses same thing but just the opposite right so we use this, these same IP addressing right here that we use for source and destination, but just the opposite. So we go to router three and say, this is his source and dot one is the destination, right? So we're gonna go back to tunnel zero and notice tunnel zero is up down on router three. Configure terminal interface tunnel zero. Tunnel source is 198.1.51100. Dot six destination one ninety eight fifty one one hundred dot seven. I mean dot one. And now tunnel zero is up. We'll do a show IP interface brief again to verify that. You'll see it's up up, right? On router three, configure tunnel zero with the source destination recorder. We just did that. On router three, attempt to ping. Router one's tunnel zero interface, 192.168.0.1. So we're going to ping 192.168.0.1. And it, it succeeded. Five out of five. On router three, display detailed information about tunnel zero interface. What difference do you notice in the output when compared to the output for a physical interface? So let's take a look at physical interface. So uh, let's do an interface serial zero zero, which is this guy right here. The interface that's right there, right? And you'll see hardware is HD 65, 64570. This is what we, it normally looks like with a physical interface, right? We're kind of familiar with that. But now if we do a show interface tunnel zero, you can see that hardware is tunnel, right? Encapsulation tunnel. We've also got tunnel, uh, tunnel and source and destination information right here. So if we want to verify that, we do show interface and a tunnel and a whatever. The tunnel protocol and transport is GRE and IP. We got the time to live as 255. We got the tunnel transmit and receive bandwidth information. A lot of information about a tunnel. So that's the difference there. From PC1, attempt to ping PC3. Does the ping succeed? So we're going to do the same thing we did at the very beginning of this uh, lab. And as you can see, it still didn't work. It still doesn't work. Why? Why not? Uh, because we don't have a static route. And as you can see, task two says we need to configure a static route. So in this task, you'll configure a static route on router one and router three so that the LANs, so these guys right here, that are connected to those routers can communicate. So those routers can communicate, but they the local area networks don't have routes to those locations. So examine the topology. What Based on what you know about tunneling, what devices 
are you most likely required to configure the static route here and here most likely right so on router 3 create the static route to the triple 10.0 network through the tunnel right this is the difference we're doing it through the tunnel so we're going to say ip not the physical interface right right we're not doing a static route from here to here we're doing a static route from here to here and back right so global config mode ip routes and he said he wants a route to the triple 10.0 network slash 24 10 10 10.0 slash 24 use the next top of 192.168.0. it was tunnel zero on the other guy which is 0 0.2 yeah 0 0.2 that's his next hop on router one hold up I made a mistake. That's supposed to be done on router three. Let's do. Let's get rid of that. Let's do that. On router three, it was supposed to be that static route. So on router three, we create a static route to the triple ten dot network. So IP, we gonna global config mode IP routes ten dot ten dot ten dot zero two fifty five to two fifty five to two fifty five dot Uh, take the next hop one eight two one sixty eight dot zero dot one i believe it was yeah zero dot one that's gonna be the next hop and then we do the same thing we're gonna say ip route but this is to the 10 10 30 network right right on router one to the 10 we need a, a static route to the 10 10 30 network right and his next hop is zero dot zero dot two that's correct i put a no there that's not supposed to be no just IP routes there that should work so we created static routes on router one attempt to ping 10 10 30 dot 100 router one ping 10 10 30 dot 100 so router one is pinging the PC and as you can see success rates 100% that was correct did the ping succeed? Why or why not? It, it, it works because we have a static route now. On uh, router three, attempt to ping router one's fast Ethernet 00, zero interface. Does the ping succeed now? So he is going to ping that local area network interface right there. Triple 10.1. He said, does the ping succeed now? We didn't try to do it in the first place. So what is he talking about? 10.10.10.1. And it does work. On router three, display the IP routing table. Show IP route. Through which interface can router three reach the triple ten dot network? So the triple ten dot network is actually right here, right in this area, the local area network behind router one. And to get there, it says to take. It's a static route one. Dot, uh, it's a uh, the the. Uh, the AD is one, the static is zero, the, the, uh, the metric is zero. It says to take it, take the next hop of 182.168.0.1, which is the interface that's on the tunnel. Let's run some show commands before we wrap this up because it says here we need to configure and ver verify G EIGRP. We're not gonna go ahead and do that because we've done enough EIGRP videos a uh, couple, couple months back. So let's just, uh, we're gonna wrap this up, but run some, sh run, run some show commands and wrap this up. So we did the show IP interface brief. We did the show IP route. We did the show IP interface. No, we did. Uh, yeah, we did show IP interface tunnel. Let's do tunnel traffic and statistics tra statistics tunnel. Show IP tunnel traffic. IP tunnel. Okay, well, that's it. Boston Nets and don't support that command. Uh, show interface tunnel. We did that already. Show statistics tunnel. And Boston Essen doesn't respond. See, this is why we need to be doing stuff like this on, on, on GNF3, not on these uh, these simulators here. <laughs> that is my YouTube channel. That is my Twitter handle. Please go ahead and add me. Hit the notification bell after you subscribe, of course, to know when these videos are coming out. I have not been. I've been slacking lately. Um, I had some issues with my OBS software. And I've been tied up with this BGP. It's been wrapped. It's just been having my head in, in circles. But anyways, we're going to get that going for y'all right on time. My girlfriend just wrote up. 
So uh, please go ahead and comment, like, subscribe to the network.